Hey guys, it's Teacher Dad. So today I'm going to show you why it's been a little while since I've made my last video. I've had a little boy and his name is Luke and he's uh, just about seven weeks old and so he's been keeping me up late at night and so this kind of spawned one of the uh, reasons for today's video and it's if you have ever had this experience you know what it's like if you haven't then maybe this will help you out but I'm going to be looking at the quickest and easiest way to warm up a baby bottle so if you ever find yourself in the middle of the night and you are part of the ones who are taking care of the baby, you realize that as the baby is crying, it can be difficult and challenging. So stay tuned and I'll see if we can give you some tips that gave me some help. So if you have ever been awakened in the middle of the night, you know that it can be difficult because your baby is crying and you have a couple things that need to be done. Either the baby needs his diaper changed or the baby needs his bottle. And so in either of those cases, you want the quickest and easiest way to be able to get that as quickly as possible. Now, in my case, we have been feeding our baby and having to store the milk in the refrigerator. If you are feeding with formula, then you can keep your water at a room temperature and pretty much feed it right to the baby. But if you have either, if you're either freezing milk or if you're storing it in the refrigerator, you know that you wanna keep, you wanna warm up the milk so that it's a little bit easier for the baby to eat. Now, the baby can eat different temperatures of milk and they will sometimes be okay, but depending on whether or not your baby will like that or whether they will eat that, here are some tips. So, I am a science teacher and so I decided to take some of that science and try to apply it to how we could warm up a baby bottle. Now, if you've ever heard, do not ever put your bottle in the microwave. And one of the primary reasons is because it warms the milk through because of the thermal energy of the microwaves as they travel through the substance and they heat it up pretty evenly throughout. However, there sometimes can be some hot spots in the milk. And so even if you swirl it around, you may potentially get some hot spots and that might scorch the inside of your baby's mouth. So when you're trying to change the temperature of something, you're basically transferring thermal energy. And the way to accomplish that more quickly is to apply more thermal energy to a smaller area. For example, if you've ever heard the science question, what has more thermal energy, a thimble full of boiling water or a bathtub full of lukewarm water? And the correct answer is the bathtub because of the larger volume. So what we're going to be doing is looking at how can you more quickly get the temperature of the milk coming out of the freezer or the refrigerator up to a temperature that your baby would like to drink. So what is the temperature that you're looking for? Well, as you can see here, the temperature is close to 90 degrees, and this is very shortly after the milk had been pumped. And so that is kind of what you're looking for. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you could potentially get your milk up to that temperature or closer to that temperature more quickly. So in this method for trying to get the milk more quickly and safely, you want to use hot water out of your tap. Remember that the water that's coming out of the tap the bottle is never going to reach that temperature because you're changing the really cold temperature from being in the refrigerator to a warmer temperature as it's going to equalize between the really hot water and the really cold milk. All right, so I've set up a stopwatch back here so you can see how long it takes in this particular case to try to get the water a little bit warmer. All right, so you can see here that we have the milk put into the container. We're going to let it sit there for one minute. We're going to see how long it takes or what temperature it has increased from its original 48 degrees coming out of the refrigerator and getting ready to transfer that, uh, trying to get it up to a warmer temperature. All right, so it has been one minute. So let's check the temperature of the milk and see what it has increased. All right, looks like we've gotten it up to 60.4 degrees. Now, one of the next things to try to increase the temperature more quickly is to increase the size of the volume of water that you're using. So this time we're going to use a larger container and we're going to see if that has a greater effect on the temperature increasing more quickly. And we are using the same amount of milk each time using three mLs. Okay, again, we're going to check the temperature beforehand. We're going to find out that it is 49.5 degrees, sorry, 
0.9 degrees. And we're going to run that for another minute. So now, as you can see, the bottle does sit a little differently when it's in this container because of the shape. And, but again, there's a larger volume of water. And so there are, there's more thermal energy to try to get the temperature of the bottle up more quickly. So instead of using just a small cup and placing your bottle inside, one way to more quickly get the temperature up is to use a larger container of water, like a pot or something like that. And then you're going to have a, a much greater volume of water to increase the temperature more quickly. All right, now in this case, you can see 61.2 degrees. So we've got it almost a degree warmer. Now, let me show you one other method, which personally I think will be the most, uh, will, will be the quickest. And depending on whether you actually use these bags for storing milk or whether or not you want to get some of these to more quickly help, especially maybe in the middle of the night, to be able to more quickly heat up the milk is these milk storage bags. Because the other method or the other reason for more quickly heating up uh, a certain amount of milk is to increase the surface area of the milk that's exposed to the warmer surface. So think about a bottle. In the middle of that bottle, the milk is colder. It's not even touching the outside areas that are warm. And so unless you stir it around, it's not going to very, uh, it's not going to come into contact with that outside milk. Whereas if you put that milk, that same amount of milk in a bag, there's going to be a lot more warm water on the round than touching the areas of the milk more evenly. So that is going to give you a much better, um, uh, much more quickly warm up the milk for you. So again, just making sure we have three ounces of milk here. And this time pouring it in the bag, but if you were going to keep it stored in the bag, it will more quickly you all have this ready to go. All right, and once again, here we are at one minute of time. We're going to check the temperature of this milk and compare it to the other two times. And as you can see there, we are up to 79, 80, degrees. So now this method in one minute of time, 81 degrees, this is only nine degrees off from the temperature of the milk as it would come right after the process of pumping. So I hope that little tip could give you some help, um, whether you pump the milk and store it in the bags or whether you take some of those bags, put your milk in them and have them prepared in the refrigerator and then using a larger volume of water, placing the bags directly into the milk, that same one minute of time, there was significantly better increase of the temperature in that uh, same length of time. So uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or anything else you wanna see me test in the future, let me know, and we'll see you again on the next one.